Well hey internet friends, back for part two of this video. Uh, this is the follow up to the Freddy and OG LARP, the uh, emotional scammers of YouTube. Well I had questions for the little memorial to put up and the claims that they made in their videos that they got permission etc. Um, you know you can't just walk about willy nilly and put plaques up which is the most honest thing OG states in that video which is absolute truth. You cannot just walk about doing that. In fact, you have to go through a process. You have to make an application for it. And there's absolutely no guarantee that your application will be accepted. So, I, I did some research and I came to this page. And, you know, it's the uh, Coquitlam uh, donation page and gifting program. It tells you how you can go about to make donations to it an amenity or donate you know to, to an ex adopt an existing branch you know immediately plaques and tributes and basically what this is is uh you know for the very idea that freddy had when he placed that plaque if you actually wanted to pl place a plaque in the uh um in their park you would you would basically have to go through this process. Uh, there's a catalogue here that I'm going to click on to. Give me a wee second. Okay, folks. When you click on the link for this uh, catalogue, it gives you full details on how you can go about. It gives you examples. There's park benches. In fact, there's a list of things that you can uh, basically put a plaque on. Uh, a new park bench, an existing bench, a picnic table, a tree, uh, a chair, uh, and then it goes on to a game table, two seats, outdoor football table, uh, and as you can see, this actually goes up to like fifty thousand dollars, folks. You know, it's not so. There is cheaper options here. You know, two and a half thousand, and then there's a ten year renewal amount, etc. And the cheapest one I believe I can see is a thousand dollars, where a tree planted in the memory of somebody's name. Okay, and you gotta put a wee plaque up, and uh, there's a plaque. Or so I give it actually gives examples of the plaque. This is the plaque, the sample plaque wording. This is the type of plaque that you can put up, not a stainless steel one, not one that's been cut out with a plasma cutter, but the plaques that they offer because it's their services. You cannot just walk up and put a plaque on, as Freddy and OG both claimed. Okay, you need permission, and if you have permission, you have to go through an application process. And you go through that application process, it's not done for free, folks. You have to make a donation, and so far, the minimum donation that I can find is a thousand dollars for a tree. It gives you op options uh, nine, ten options or so there, and the prices go up to fifty thousand. This is the type of plaque that you can put up again. And, uh, you know, there's the details of the park services. Now, that was the research that I looked into. So, you know, I seen the telephone number here. I saw the parks and I thought to myself, I'm going to phone them up. Which is exactly what I did. I phoned them up and I asked them some questions. And they told me exactly what it, this is all about. Is that if you want to donate, if you want, there's an application process and you pick one of these you pick your plaque what it wants to put on and it's processed you pay the fee and it can take weeks and weeks for it to be processed but when you get the go ahead uh, they go about and you know you can put your plaque on etc as you can see in this table it's a bit of a bigger plaque and whatnot but ultimately you know this is the style of plaque that you find there and uh, not the garbage that uh, Freddy is trying to pass off as if he was given, he says he was given carte blanche permission to do what he wanted basically. You know, that's why he hid it up out of the road where nobody would see it, eh? I mean, why, why call something Casey's Rock say about abuse when the child wasn't abused and, uh, you know, 
it's a missing case basically why, why come up with that there and then go through this whole process you got permission look we've done it for free look how great we are these are scumbags or two three of the biggest because week has been associated with this too they talked about it in a live stream and I'm going to tell you now, these are three of the biggest scumbags on YouTube. And this video here, this is the one that's going to vindicate everything. This is the one that shows you exactly what you are. Other people might say, you know, oh, he's just bitter because he got kicked to the curb or whatever. Well, you can't deny truth, folks. And this is the truth. And this isn't the end of it. Okay? This is the process you have to go through. And this is the catalogue. And uh, give me a wee second, and I'm going to have another wee bombshell for you, okay? Okay, folks, this is a quick follow-up. This is the actual application form, uh, donations. And here on the list, new park bench plaque, you know, plaque, 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 plaque. And the cheapest one's a $1,000, as I told you. There's uh, you can your park, you want to put it in, who is dedicated, etc the prices, and all that other stuff. So that's your application form that you have to go through. And uh, there's your terms and conditions, privacy, and all that other stuff. Okay. Now, as I told you, I emailed these guys as well as phoned them up. They replied back to me after a few days, and this is the email. In reply, I've already shown you the catalogue, I've already shown you the application process in this email from a guy called Noel Rack. Basically verifies that very same thing. You may be asking, well, who is Noel Rack? Well, who is Noel Rack? Dun dun dun! There's Noel Rack or Noel Rack, Parks Operations Control Supervisor, City of Coquillum. Parks and Recreation and Cultural Services, telephone numbers there. Uh, you know, that's that. So, here you go. There's your application form. And what he says here, you know, he tells me how I go about it. And he says, with all that being said, my understanding is that you came across a YouTube video of someone placing a plaque on by the waterfall. Up to the mountain, the waterfall is not currently one of our gifting options. So I would like to know if you have a link to this video. Can you please let me know? If you have any other questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to ask them for me. So there you go, folks. The waterfall is not part of the program. Freddy just decided to get a plate and stick it up there. He picked a child that uh, has been missing for 19 years, whose parents he knew were deceased. And, uh, you know, because he, you know, no one's going no one's gonna to get too bothered about that. These people are scammers. They're disgusting. They try to pass this off as some big great thing that they've done, you know, some big gesture. All this LARP so they could get f videos out about this whole Archangel crap thing. About the uh, GoFundMe that was set up by MJ victims. That's all it's about. Nothing more, so they can get videos, so they can get views, and it's all to emotionally scam you folks. That's it. That's the truth. That's the, what's behind this. I've shown you the evidence. These guys are LARPing. They've been found out. I'm not the only person that's questioned this, but I'm the person that's showing the evidence. And on that note, folks, just give me a wee minute and I'll show you something else. Okay, folks, this is the poor girl, child that Freddy decided to use for an OG for their LARP. Uh, unfortunately, the child has been missing since August 5th, 1989. There's the case number. It's a real thing. It did happen. You know, she's got uh, brown eyes, red hair, chip on her upper tooth. Uh, and here's an up-to-date picture of what she may look like. Uh, on Saturday, August 5th, 89, three-year-old Casey Rose Bowen disappeared out of her home in North Delta, BC. She was last seen by her mother at bedtime the evening before. Casey may not realise she was abducted as a child. You know... This guy, OG, he, you heard him, 
he claimed she was viciously abused and murdered. Yeah, absolutely sick. These guys claim to be truth, that they, they're out in all these other channels. Well, you guys are the worst on here. The fact that, you know, you do this all for free in your own time and all that crap, trying to validate it as some sort of truth, you should be absolutely appalled. And I tell you what, anybody associated with you guys now, as far as I can say, concerned, are the LARPers, are all part of the LARP, end of story, how anybody could now stand by and support you, screw you too. And there you go folks, that's the end of my video, that's the truth behind the Freddy and OG Memorial LARP. Adios amigos, Scooby out.